Where's Granny? What, 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 what? Good morning. Hello? <gasps> Jumpy jumpies. <laughs> we should go for crazy. <laughs> Were you banging on the wall this morning to wake mommy up? Was that you? Was it you? Was it you? <laughs> I think it was. What? <laughs> you want the lamp? Whoa, whoa, we're getting some serious air there, kid. Whoa, whoa, we are crazy this morning. Baby, that's dirty, dirty. What are you doing? No, that's dirty. Mommy will put you in clean clothes later. Let me change your diaper. I'll go downstairs. Okay? What? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, I gotta take your sleepy sack off. Come here. Yeah, you need a diaper change. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Whoa! I can't see. Watch out. Okay. Oh, thank you, baby. Come on. Let's go get that. Thank you, Jackie. You're so sweet. You want to go downstairs? You boys want meal? Oh, Daddy, I'm eating. Mama, you got your milky? <laughs> okay, so mommy make breakfast. Good morning, guys, and welcome to this weekend's vlog. It is Jackie Boy. What are you doing back there? Hey, hey. No, 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 no. Stays up here, baby. Like that. Okay. <laughs> Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning. I think it's like almost 8 o'clock in the morning. The boys and I just had some breakfast. Harris ran out and is grabbing myself and him some coffee and getting the boys a little chocolate milk as a treat. <laughs> He's running around with the ball. But welcome to this weekend's vlog. We don't have too much going on. We do have a friend's son's birthday party today that starts at 3 o'clock. The boys usually wake up from their nap around then. So 
We are going to stop over that, I think, tonight. Okay. I think Harris's mom is going to come over in the morning. She has not seen the boys in, I think, a few weeks because she was away at Montauk last weekend. So it has to be at least, like, two weeks since she's seen the boys. So she's going to come over this morning and hang out and see the boys. Um, we are supposed to be getting a really bad storm tomorrow. I don't know when it starts. Side note, if I sound a little stuffy, every morning I've been waking up with like the worst allergies ever. They go away by like 10 o'clock, but I wake up in the morning seriously with the worst allergies ever and we change our sheets very frequently, at least um, once a week, if not every other week. So I don't know what's causing this. We do have cleaning people who come and dust and vacuum and mop our house. So we don't have too much dust and stuff in the house, but Anyway, if I'm a little stuffy, that's what that is. But we are supposed to be getting a really, really bad storm. Um, I think it's categorized as a hurricane at this point um, on Sunday. I don't know when that's supposed to start. So I think we might be staying at Harris's parents' house for that just to be safe because we do have a lot of trees around us. And last time there was a hurricane last year, I think I vlogged when that happened. Um, we had trees fall everywhere in our yard, front yard, backyard. Um, what actually hit Harris's car. So we're going to talk with his mom this morning and see um, if we can do that. So that's kind of what we have going on this weekend. Other than that, really not too much, but I still wanted to vlog for you guys. I did wind up filming a video last night and I'm not sure if that video is gonna go before this one or after this one. I think I might edit it and have it on the back burner just in case we do lose power. I'll have something edited and I'll just have to run quickly to like a Starbucks and hit upload. So I think that's my plan, but I took like a walk down memory lane with you guys. I went through a bunch of pictures. We sat, we chatted. I had so much fun filming that last night. So I did do that last night in that video. I will have up for you guys shortly, but yeah, we're kind of going to see where the day takes us. It's pretty early in the morning. I definitely, excuse me, need my coffee to wake up. So I'm going to wait for her. So <laughs> Where's Benny? Where's Jackie? Yeah. Where's Benny? Where's Benny? Where's Benny? Peek of it. Again. Again, you do. Again. Again. Where's Benny? <laughs> what are you doing? Where's Jackie? Where's Jackie? Oh. What are you doing? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, there's not enough room up here. Ah! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, so before I take the boys upstairs, I wanted to show you guys this like makeshift gate. I wouldn't even call this a gate. It's more of like a deterrent from keeping them from going up the stairs when we are like in the kitchen and the living room. I made this with leftover um, fabric from this, this like banister railing and command hooks because I've tried different kinds of gates we tried this kind of gate on the stairs but because the railings are towards the edge you would like trip going up the stairs so i don't really know what else we could do and for a while we were leaving it open and it was fine but now the boys try and go upstairs whenever they're out and i like to give them more free reign than just the living room so i did this the other day it works really well as long as there's something there they don't try to take it down or to get up the stairs like i said it's more of a deterrent to keep them from going up the stairs when I'm cooking or something. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm taking the boys up now. I'm gonna give them a bath now. Boys, come on, you wanna take a bathy? Wanna go take a bath? Since we are going to a friend's house later on, like I mentioned, and I just don't know if we're gonna be home in time to give them a bath before bed. So it's just easiest to do it now. Um, yeah, come on, we're gonna go take a bathy. No, Benny. Benny, come. Come on. Come on. All right, well, I'm gonna go give your brother a bath. Yeah, I'm gonna go give brother a bathy. Yeah, come on. Come on, baby. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Back it up, back it up. Come on. All right, bye-bye, Ben. Come on, let's go get your bathy ready. All right, back up, baby, because the water comes up very hot in the beginning. All right, wait a second. I'll put you in in a second. Too hot right now. Hot, hot, hot. All right. I just don't want you.
want you to burn yourself. I will take yours off in a second, baby. needs to get cut. It's very long. Come on, let's go in the backyard. Come. Come on, Benny. Let's go in the back. Let's go get your toys. Okay, the boys are bathed and recently they've been very insistent on going outside ever since we got home from florida they know how to communicate so much more and so every day jack goes over to where i usually keep their sneakers i have my eye on ben over there he's playing with rocks um but he goes over to where we keep like their sneakers and their crocs and their shoes whoa whoa slow down lovey <laughs> and he insists that i put their shoes on so after we took their bath today we brought them downstairs and they sat outside the front door and wind to go out so we're outside now even though i just gave him a bath they're probably gonna get so dirty that's all right but we're outside now harris is leaving for a round of golf with his friends and his mom is coming over in a little bit to hang out with me and the boys and then they'll go in for their nap and i think i'm going to edit that video that i said that i filmed so that i can get that up for you guys probably on sunday either sunday or sunday next week i still need to figure out what my plan is um but i think i'm gonna do that when they go down for their nap so for now we're just gonna sit outside i have my coffee somewhere up right here I'm gonna finish my coffee, let them play. They like to throw rocks around over there. <laughs> I'm going to let them play for a little bit and then I'm sure we'll go inside once Harris's mom gets here. You sleepy? Come on, let's get into bed. Look, brothers in bed already. Come on, come on baby. Harris's mom just left. Oh my God, this mirror is so dirty excuse that but harris's mom just left it's time for the boys to get in for a nap and then she did pick up a few things for them ew i cannot believe how dirty this is i don't i don't really know what from maybe from when i used to spray the boys hair down when it was longer um but yeah she left she did bring over some goodies for them some clothes so i'll share that with you once i put the boys down and then i need to eat some lunch myself and then get myself ready since we do have that um friend's son's birthday party that we're gonna go to when harris gets home from god okay the boys are up from their nap now they woke up a little early who is that they woke up a little bit early it's just a little bit after two o'clock now and so i sat down to edit that video and eat something and i never got around to show you guys what harris's mom Dropped off with her when she came. He's trying to touch himself on the camera. Um, so I thought I'd quickly do that before I go ahead and give the boys go, a snack. Go. So the first thing that she got that I'm super excited for, she actually got the boys some Uggs. I believe she got these in a size um, seven. Yeah, size seven. She got them the same exact pair. So two pairs of the chestnut little Uggs for the winter time. Do you want to hold this? Isn't that cute? And then she did go ahead and get two pairs of jeans for the boys, both from the Gap in the size 18 to 24 months. Since we don't have any jeans and with the holidays in the fall and everything, it'll be nice to dress these up for dinners and get together. So she got two pairs of jeans. I need to turn the air conditioner back on. Harris turned it off this morning because he was cold and now it's getting very muggy and humid since the storm is about to hit. 
Um, but you got two pairs of Gap pajamas. These are the long sleeves and long pants one. Size is 18 to 24 months for the winter. I almost said eight. 18 to 24. She then got two of these shirts from a restaurant in Montauk, New York. Since she was at Montauk this past week, like I mentioned. She got two of these shirts. They are the exact same thing. She then picked up a few things from Rowdy Sprout. She has this. <laughs> Hi, baby. She got this black run DMC long sleeve for the fall. She got this like cream Woodstock long sleeve for the fall. She also got, I think, one other thing possibly from Rowdy Sprouts. Um, no, that's, is this Rowdy Sprouts? No. So that's everything from Rowdy Sprouts. She then got this set, which she said she's waiting for another pair of these sweatpants in. These are from Tiny Whales in the size 18 to 24 months. So we're waiting for another pair of those sweatpants and then a different t-shirt, but she got one of these t-shirts to go with those sweatpants. And then she picked up a few things from New New New. So a gray and a white long sleeve thermal. And then this shirt. I can't believe this is from New New New. I would not expect this from them. This little graphic that says the power of love down the sleeve. And then she got one short sleeve and I believe short set. This is not for until like next spring slash summer. It's a short sleeve button down and some shorts from Kith and these are in a size two. So she said another set of this is on the way for the other baby. So she just brought all that stuff over, that stuff that's been accumulating um, for the past two weeks since we haven't seen her. If you guys are unfamiliar, Harris's mom buys all the clothes for the boys. She buys all the clothes for all of the grandchildren. So Harris's nieces and nephews as well. We are super lucky and grateful and thankful that she does that for us. But she dropped all that stuff off. So like I mentioned, it is a little bit after two o'clock now. The boys did wake up early. I did go ahead and throw on some light makeup and just like wave my hair since I think we're going to Harris's friend's son's birthday party um, when he gets back. I still haven't heard from Harris. So we're going to do that. And we've been talking. We don't really know what our plan is. The storm isn't supposed to hit. I don't think until tomorrow, at least that's what I've heard. But on my weather app, it says it could start in like the middle of the night, like 2 a.m. So Harris and I are kind of talking to see if we're going to go to his parents' house tonight. And Boys, you okay? You're okay. Is that loud? Okay, baby. Um... So we don't know if we're going to go there tonight and stay there tonight and tomorrow night as well. I mean, we don't know how long we're going to stay. It depends if we lose power or not. So we're kind of talking if we're going to go um, tonight or tomorrow. But if we do plan on going tonight, that means I need to pack our overnight stuff. So I'll keep you guys updated for that. I'm going to boys a snack. Turn the air conditioner on because I'm sweating. And wait for Harris to get home. What, what are you doing over here? Do you want to sit in your booster? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Why do you want to sit in that? <laughs> One, two, three, sit. <sighs> you guys are silly. Silly, silly, silly. Good morning, guys. It is now Sunday. I never wound up vlogging much yesterday. Our plans were kind of all over the place. We did wind up going to our friend's house to see um, their kids and like have our kids play together. We didn't wind up going to the little birthday party because Harris got home later than expected. So we did that last night and it is now the next day. It is very dark, very gloomy, very gray outside. It has started raining. It started raining over the night last night, but we're really unsure with like how the storm is going to go. So we are going to pack some bags. I have to sneeze. I allergies are so bad in the morning. I don't know why. Um, but we're going to pack overnight bags and head to Harris's parents' house for like a just in case situation. If it's not that bad later on tonight and we still have power here, we will drive home and sleep here. But it's better to be safe than sorry. We live with a lot of trees and in an area that loses power. Or like in an area that is more likely to lose power than Harris's parents' house. 
So it is almost nine o'clock, I think. The boys are up here playing in their playroom and I'm going to pack their overnight bag. I don't know where their little duffel bag is. Oh, it's over here. I'm gonna pack it in this little duffel bag that still has stuff in it from the last time we went to Harris's parents' house um, last weekend. So I need to unpack this um, and then repack it and then pack a little bag for myself and for Harris. And then I'm gonna pack like snacks and food for them too. So that is our plan for today. I'm going to just vlog here and there today as we go throughout the day and we'll kind of see where this storm goes. Okay, so in their little overnight bag, I packed sleep sacks. I have Ben's blanket here. I need to get Jax. He has it somewhere um, in the playroom. I packed a regular sound machine, and then in case we lose power, their portable sound machine. I just need to get batteries for this, um, just because I think these ones might die soon. I packed binkies. I packed um, towels if we give them a bath tonight, change of jammies, change of clothes for tomorrow, and then just some lotion and things for after their bath. I have their outfits picked out for today, and then I think I'm just gonna bring a sleeve of diapers just because I don't know um, like how long we're gonna be stuck there. If we do wind up getting stuck there, like we did last summer when there was um, a bad storm, we'll have to come back for more clothes, but I'm not going to overpack in this situation. So I need to just get um, Jack's diaper, um, sorry, Jack's blankie, and then diapers. So I'm gonna go do my stuff now. Um, I want to see if I could sneak and get his blankie. What the heck is going on in here? Oh, Mama needs this. Careful, please. brother a kiss and say I'm sorry. Give kiss. Thank you. Okay. Now can brother please have his turn to get his diaper changed and you'll get your turn after. Yes, you'll get your turn after. Step. Thank you. It's okay. It is brother's turn. Benny, it is brother's turn. Oh, it's warm 
Good night, boys. I love you. Alright, let's set up. Yep. Good night. We have um, been home for a while. I just forgot to jump on and end the vlog, but we were actually home home. The storm wound up not being as bad as it was thought to have been or like basically anywhere near it. All we got today was just a bunch of rain. The winds weren't even that bad. I know our house lost power for a little bit because when we got home, one of the alarms was going off. So that's why I know we lost power for a little bit, but there was like no trees down, Harris's parents didn't lose power. The sun actually came out, like it was blue skies when we decided to leave at like 6.30. So we're home, the boys are in bed, I am getting ready to watch some TV. I did wind up uploading that little extra video for you guys, so if you have not seen that yet, I'll link that up here. And then this video I'll probably put up later on Monday since I don't really feel like editing right now since I edited the rest of that video today. And my brain can only take like one video at a time with editing. So I'm gonna edit this um, tomorrow probably when the boys nap. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.